Somos los niños, somos el futuro. I founded Peace Praxis Educational Consulting and Training to contribute to the creation of safe, caring, and academically successful learning communities. Our mission is in partnership with the community to promote the academic, social, and emotional success of every child. When Krista came, those words started to have a life of their own and a breath. This is part of being a responsible human being. Managing yourself, learning techniques and strategies so that we can treat one another respectfully. My goal is to help teachers thrive and schools succeed. Krista has shown such caring for not only our students, but our teachers and helping them grow as professionals. I could say this, as a teacher, Krista inspired me to keep on going, to work harder, to be more creative, to think more outside of the box. Most teachers, such as myself, we don't like trainings, but once I know that Krista is um, facilitating the training, I'm there fast because one, I know it's gonna be a great training. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be informative, it's gonna be entertaining. So it's our job to not just tell them, control yourself, but to teach them. How do we do that? New and veteran educators need simple, effective strategies for motivating students, managing conflicts, and building positive classroom climates. She really understands what it is that makes teachers tick. She knows where we're coming from. She knows the hardships that some teachers face. One of the things that I learned from Krista was to teach the teachers to be self-reflective. She was involved with coaching some of the new teachers that were struggling and had a lot, a lot to offer. Another area that Krista has really helped us with is our positive behavior management. With our at-risk population, we see many, many kinds of conflicts and bullying, both in the neighborhood and around the school. And one of the things that we needed to deal with here was the discipline in the building. The amount of referrals were off the wall. Krista came in and helped us uh, formulate the rules and the think practices that we really wanted to see in our school. What we want to do is take it a step further and say, there's a problem, we're going to teach you how to deal with it, and then we're going to hold you accountable for going through this process until it's resolved. Krista is very good at making the group cohesive, which I think was critical because you cannot do this job alone. You need to get your staff to buy into the vision. Most schools these days are focused on passing the test. We want to prepare these kids for the world. And what does that mean? It's problem solving. It's getting along with other people. If a person is uh, emotionally in distress, I mean, how productive can they really be? Why is it important that we focus on the emotional component of conflict? It's when we have strong emotions that conflict is most difficult to deal with. And that's why we need to learn these skills ahead of time so we're equipped and children can be equipped in the moment to deal with it. Krista taught us actually how to teach social skills and to practice them and to rehearse them and to reteach them when necessary. Always think about how you can teach everything with a visual or a concrete. STAR strategy is a problem solving strategy that accomplishes three things. Okay? First, it teaches children important social and emotional skills. Okay? Second, it helps them resolve problems and they're held accountable for their behavior. After she introduced STAR to me, Stop, Think, Act, Review, I adopted it instantly into my curriculum. I loved it. It was very simple. Um, it was easy, yet very effective. Stop. Stop. Think. Think. Act. Act. Review. Review. <laughs> I sat there and witnessed children in times of conflict. I witnessed them use it and put it into action, and they felt so empowered. They feel as though, like not only in class, but in life, that they have a tool, an effective tool, to solve problems. So we want to put this all together, all of these skills. Schools do face so many challenges, yet I know it's possible to improve teacher morale, improve school climate, and increase student achievement. Me, I'm more confident. 
I'm a better teacher. And I have so many great new tools to reach our students. And the students that I'm working with, they're more independent. They're, they're problem solvers. Um, they, they're more emotionally sound. Krista is very effective at what she does because she's got so much ability and vision. She is a absolute wealth of knowledge. And she came in, All right. she gave the tools, you lead it. You she, lead it. she did her work, and she made a big difference. Try conflict resolution. Fighting is not the solution. Try conflict resolution. Stop, or cool off, and take a deep breath. When you get angry, don't lose your head. Tell each other the way you feel. Don't scream, don't shout. Use your words, not your fist, to work it down. Fighting is not the solution. Try conflict resolution. Fighting is not the solution. Try conflict resolution. Fighting is not the solution. Try conflict.